Hello lucky viewers, my name is Justin Zartan, and what you are about to watch is real. Let's turn this down here. Goopy from our lovemaking, which was so uh, I'm not supposed to Recording that stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not my music it's in the background. It's background noise. Uh, lucky viewers, I am just the great Justin Zartan. Uh, what you are about to watch is real. I do not mean to offend anybody. Most of this here is my opinion or fact from the uh, photos. What we are going to talk about is the Python Patrol Cobra Bat. Extradition treaty or ba, 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 ba. it's a repaint of course um, I do like the color scheme it's like crimson red for the top yellow accents gray pants black and uh, yellow boots uh, all the accessories are black the three that you did before you do not get the battle damaged head you get the backpack, you get a new chest plate, no battle damage chest plate. But you go away. The new, the new plate comes with a Python Patrol chest plate. You do lose some color in the chest plate. It's only two colors instead of like three. On the side, you get a, a color of the, you know, drawing of the bats, another drawing of the bats. So, uh, the, but the funny thing is, this is a battle damage bat, so I just, it's kind of like they just use the same box. Um, there is no extra that I can see of, there is no extra head. Seriously? You get a black and yellow gun. The back is the same as the Viper's box. The whole Python Patrol seems just to be repaints. What? No, they said don't wash them. And file card. God damn it. Watch everything. I don't understand how it could be a Target exclusive if it has already been released in Canada. It has been over a year since these are supposed to have been out. It took like, it seemed like it took forever. We're coming up on number 41. I can't remember what the, uh, the trooper was called. It could have been 38. 38 was Croc Master. So maybe 40. Um, in the same line is the uh, Tiger Force. I'm not going to get any of that. I don't want an Outback. I don't want any of the other guys. I'm kind of like on the fence of quitting the classified series. It's a nice series. Great looking. Some of the great looking figures, but it takes, seems forever to get they come out. Price is going up. Harder and harder to find at the stores. I've gone at least close to 50 miles away from my house just to see them. Um, I do in, uh, like the figures. It brings back the nostalgia from the three, three uh, quarter uh, ones I had when I was a kid. Let's see if I can get this in. My second figure I wanted to talk about is another repaint. It's the Baroness. They've changed some things in her. I believe it's a new head sculpture and hair. On this head sculpture, they have with the uh, removal glasses or slots on the side of the eyes where you can see that they uh, have made for the uh, glasses to uh, uh, go on. You can see the slots. Kind of gives away a takeaway from the aspects of it. They kind of done it a different way where the, there's no slots in the side of the head. They kind of have the glasses that clipped on in the nose section that just holds them up there. Could have gone just with no glasses, even although that is like the um, that is the one of our. Uh, copy no, tags the baroness first showed up in the comic books human, the uh gi joe number one to be exact i think that was in okay, no, 82 we'll or 83 see. she comes with four guns two pistols uh that are new that are retooled 
her uh, signature rifle, and it looks like a uh, machine gun. Kind of a cool looking back, larger retro style firing uh, file card. These are the retro style, uh, what do you call that? Um, retro style classified figures from uh, another place that's supposed to be exclusive, even though they have been shown up at other stores. I guess this one is uh, Walmart. Uh, there's a, that I know of, there's only four figures in the set. Gung-ho and then uh, Destro. The gung-ho is another repaint, but he comes in the class, uh, the classified uh, style of uh, redo of um, a retro uh, three of three course uh, look. Here's what he would look like, but he's going to come more with the color scheme of the three and three quarter figure. I think I talked about him. Another one of, uh, not one of my great figures, but he came in, uh, he came in a set or the line of uh, when the they released the bats. I mean, Ellie Viper. I am going to open this one uh, figure. It does say that she is the, uh, like the main officer for the intelligence of Cobra. Her birthplace is classified like a lot of the figures or characters in Cobra. The color scheme is that of her uh, retro or her three and three quarter figure. The uh, the look is supposed to be that of that, uh, but the original glasses were on the three and three quarter figure were drawn or painted on. Molded on, rather. I do like the look of the figure. Really nice set of figures. A lot of the uh, flimsy cardboard is always seems to be bent. Um, they have been showing up at other stores other than Walmart. Um, I'm thinking I'm just starting to do uh, videos of the 12 inch figures I have. All right, that's it for now. We, uh, I do have another figure I uh, want to make another video of. It'll be the classified uh, Storm Shadow. It might be my last figure, although I did order the classified. Um, this tank from uh, has repulse. All right. This is the great Justin Zaratan signing off for now.